Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna go buy my next project car. So, are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. This is my garage, and this channel is all about the supercar ownership experience. Buying and selling them, maintaining them, DIY work on them, and also, I can help you with your supercar needs. So, go visit my website, normalguysupercar.com, and check out the various services that I have to offer. I can help you out by consulting with you, talking over the phone, or you can even just submit information on my forms. So, go check out the buying and selling section of my website, and see if there's any services that you might think are helpful. Okay, so we're gonna go head on over to Houston. So, yes, my next project car is in Texas it's over in Houston I've got my traders bag of good stuff so let me show you what I'm gonna bring and all the things that we're gonna do and check out on this car before I send them the money all right we've got all the essentials we're gonna need to inspect this car so well we've got the hat we've got the mask because well it's COVID and some hand sanitizer and of course sunglasses because you know yeah sunglasses gotta look cool got my escort radar detector so we can uh, well do some nefarious driving on the way home, and of course a cell phone charger. But here's the stuff that's more interesting. We've got a paint meter, so we'll check out the paint thickness. We've also got a tire gauge, so we wanna make sure that we're not gonna die on the way home and the tires are reasonably okay. And the last thing that's most important is I'm actually bringing a Launch X431 computer. So what we're gonna do is my buddy Josh from Exotic Power and Performance is actually gonna remote into this computer and check out the system. So he's gonna make sure that the clutch is good, that there's no codes and all that sort of stuff. So this is actually a service that he can do for you. And if something like this is something that'd be helpful for you, talk to him and work something out. Also, he can even do stuff like remote clutch calibration and remote diagnostics. Again, go reach out to Josh and see if he can help you out. Okay, YouTube, we are in Josh's car. This is Josh. What's up? So Josh owns Centex Sport Imports. That's actually where I bought all of my Ferraris, except for the first one. That's because I didn't know Josh yet. So all my other Ferraris, and frankly, pretty much every car I'm gonna buy from now and ever on, is gonna go through Josh. So let me tell you, or let me let Josh tell you about stuff that he can do for you. Um, how's everybody doing? Uh, <laughs> so I can do uh, paperwork for you, I can find you a car, I can sell your car. Uh, basically anything having to do with a car deal I can do for you. So. You can email me or get my info from Dan and uh, call me, text me, email me, whatever, and uh, tell me what you're trying to do and I can help you figure it out. What's your email? Josh at centexsi.com. There you go. Having someone like him that you know is really helpful because uh, he can he can check out auctions. So like you know, if you're like looking for a specific car, he can try and find it for you. If you know, you're selling a car and you don't want to deal with selling the car, you can have him sell on consignment for you. All those sorts of things, so pretty awesome. And we got, I don't know, probably another two hours to go. We got a ways to go. All right, we're here. We're gonna pull it around. Yeah, I got some, uh, I got some pretty good cars here. Post Oak Motor Cars. That's where we're at. Ooh, I like the color of that that 911. Yeah, I don't really care for Bentley. That's pretty. I'm digging that. Good lord. It's like the, a comparison. Yeah, yeah. That's my hand. I have a pretty big hand. <laughs> that is, uh, that's probably the same size as the stuff that's on the Urus. There she be. Oh, listen to that. Oh yeah, it's got a little bit of hum. There's Frankie. <laughs> there it is. It's not a wrap. It's not? No. Oh, cool. Oh, it's got carbon trim on the wheels. You can see, I can't even see that in the pictures. Oh. Oh, it's great right here. Oh, chips. I got my uh, paint meter and stuff.
Let's go, my toys. That might be factory. Is that your scanner? 955. Do I have my OBD? Yeah. One sec. 772. 909. Got a scrape right there. That can puff out. The paint, now I see in the light. A lot of swirl marks. Sensor nine. Yeah, it's all between uh, seven and nine. The whole car's been painted. Yeah. He's got to let me record it. Jeez. Jeez. All right, let me hear it. Yeah, there's no struts. They're just gone. Yeah, there's where that mouse are. The problem is, this hood is a lot lighter than the factory. So I need different struts. Yeah. I'm taking the mask off for just a second because everyone's standing away from me. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, uh, let me show you, we got Josh Hills from Exotic Power and Performance. We got his launch, we're gonna plug it in. He's gonna remote into this and actually check out the car, make sure everything's good on the computer. So, so far it looks pretty good. There's a lot of swirl marks. It definitely needs a paint correction. It's the only thing I noticed so far. The rear tires are 2014s, those need to go. Front tires are 2016s, those are okay. That's so far the only problems I've noticed. Also, the hood doesn't shut real well. There's no front shocks on the front hood. Not sure why, a little weird. Yeah. A few moments later. All right, we have a problem. I don't know if I can get the OBD thing on there. Finding some more flaws. I mean, this is what's gonna happen. The Ashtray things like fall apart. There's definitely some sticky buttons that need to be taken care of. They're really bad shape. We found a nail in the tire. That's no good. All right, so it's got a boatload of custom carbon work. Tons of carbon everywhere. I'll show you all that when we get it home. Uh, we're trying to get some money off because the tires, so I'm gonna have to buy new tires and yeah, it's not fortunate, but everything else, there's a, a lot of little things. It's the classic Ferrari, right? Lots of little things wrong with it. We'll, We'll have to fix. More work than I expected. It's still within buy range. 12 seconds later. Okay. Paperwork time. <laughs> the less exciting part. Uh, yeah, so I have to wire the money. I'll, I normally finance cars. I don't like paying cash for cars, but I'm paying cash because we're flipping it. So I didn't want to do, go through the hassle of getting a loan to only own the car for like two, three months. Here we go. We're going to do some paperwork. Well, it's mine. <laughs> so I'm going to drive home now. So. We'll talk more about it when I get home, but uh, this will be fun. Let's go drive a 599 all the way home. Good to see you, dude. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Uh, my old 430, I miss you. Take care of She's still good. <laughs> She's all right. good. She's happy. Hell She's being yeah. driven a lot. Yes. You guys, what's what's your Instagram? Uh, Stop Maverick 2. Stop Maverick 2. He, yes. He posts yep. a ton of crap about his car. All the time. Yep, I Every day. Lot. Every day. Yes. <laughs> all right, man. We'll see you. All right. Well, I just stopped for gas at a shell station and first of all this is a thirsty car <laughs> i just put it on with 20 gallons and it still had a quarter tank of gas but second of all uh there's a big storm coming so i'm gonna try and hurry and avoid the rain uh it looks like we're about to get our butts kicked so let's haul ass well we did not avoid the storm so it's been on on and off pretty hard uh just taking it easy get home safely that's the goal here yeah it's coming down really hard this is a little bit scary they're going really slow with their hazards on and stuff. We're only going 45 miles an hour on the highway. We made it home. So, uh, sorry, I got rained on. I had to run around and move cars and yeah, it was coming down pretty good earlier, but we made it home safely. Thankfully, had to go pretty slow on the highway. I was a little bit nervous, I'll admit. I even put it into wet mode. Oh, see, it's starting to come down again. It's gonna be one of those days in Texas where it just 
Yeah, it's gonna rain a lot. So we got some plans for this thing. So first of all, I'm not gonna show you everything that's wrong with the car until the next video. So stay tuned for that. There's a lot wrong with this car. So just to be sure, it is a project car, far from perfect, but I knew that and that's what we expected and that's why I got it for a pretty good price. It wasn't a screaming deal, but it was a good deal. At least I think it was a reasonably good deal. Okay, the big news, we have a big, big thing I wanna do to this car. So, as you know, this car has the F1 transmission. I want to convert it to a manual. What, what, what? Yes, so I am going to contact the guys at European Auto Group down in San Antonio, my buddy Art. We've already been talking about it. We're gonna convert this thing to a manual. So if you didn't know, the 599 actually did come in a manual, but they only made about 30 in a manual in the entire world, and only 20 of those came to the United States. So, I would like to make this number 21. <laughs> so, that's gonna be a huge project. So, we have a ton of work that we're gonna need to do this thing. It needs a lot of stuff, but, when it's all said and done, I am going to sell this to hopefully one of you. So if you're interested in the car, feel free to reach out to me if you have questions or if you wanna see certain things. Also, if you have certain things you think I should modify in this car, let me know. So I already plan to replace the rear tires because there's a nail in it. And I think I'm gonna modify the exhaust a little bit. It sounds good, but I think it could sound better. It's a big Ferrari V12. We need to make it sound like a proper big Ferrari V12. I mean, we have a 620 horsepower, six liter V12 Ferrari. We've got to make this thing sound really, really good. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, this is a 2007, it is a 599 GTB Fiorano. We'll go into more details about what we're gonna have to do to fix this thing and make it more drivable. And for those of you that are already subscribed to my channel and subscribed to my email list or are a member of the channel, don't forget, we are giving away the slip low scrape guards. So if you want some of these, go to bit.ly slash NGS scrape, use the code NGS10, they're gonna give you 10% off. But one of you is gonna win this kit. I need to do the drawing, so I'm gonna do that and announce it on the next video. So yes, one of you is going to win the slip low scrape guards. So if you haven't already, it's your last chance. Get in real quick, subscribe to my channel, join my email list, go to normalguysupercar.com, sign up for my email list, or become a member. That's how you get entered to win. Oh yeah, now we got rain. It's coming down pretty hard now. So unfortunately, we weren't able to read the computer stuff, so I'm gonna have Josh get an extension for it, and then we'll plug it in and see the state of the clutch and all that sort of stuff. So I did plug in my launch, and it shows the reading in millimeters, but I need to look up what that actually means. I think it said 24.31 millimeters. So I need to look what is the actual factory like specifications for the clutch, what is uh, 0% worn, 100% worn, they'll show the millimeters. So I'll look that up and see if we can figure out the condition of the clutch. But the reason I didn't really care is because we are going to be pulling the transmission to do the manual swap. If the clutch is bad, we're just gonna replace it. So simple as that. Given that the car has 22,500 miles on it, it's entirely possible the clutch is probably about halfway worn. So my thing is if it's about 60% worn or better, I'll probably replace it. If it's still got a reasonable amount of clutch left, then we're gonna leave it. I'm not one of those people that says, oh, let's just replace the clutch because it's got 50% of the life left. That's still a lot of life, especially for a three plus thousand dollar part. Again, Josh from Exotic Power and Performance, he can actually send you his computer and do some remote diagnostics and remote clutch calibrations and things like that for you. So if you happen to need some of that work, get a hold of him, drop him a line, see if he can help you out but we'll get that configured and set up and we'll show you that in another video. So stay tuned for all of that. Hopefully you guys like the new project car. Tell me, did you think we were gonna do a 599? So I actually was looking around, there's not hardly any videos about these cars, so I didn't really know much about these cars. So admittedly, I kind of went into this a little bit blind, but it's just a Ferrari. I mean, it's, you know, same stuff, different engine. <laughs> it's got a lot of the same problems as every other Ferrari on earth. So don't forget if you have any sort of interest in buying or selling a supercar or have any needs for my services, go to normalguyssupercar.com and check out the services I have to offer. Maybe I can help you out. We're gonna have a ton of cool stuff coming along. So you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.